Today, we are going to learn about machines. Now, there are different types of machines. But what is a machine? Yes, a machine is which makes our work easier or yeah, work easier by what? By doing what? By either reducing my effort or by changing direction. For example, livers which is used to reduce my effort. For example, pulleys which is used to change my direction as well as to reduce my effort. Right? Yes, I can say livers also helps to reduce my effort by changing the direction of the application of effort. Now let's see what is livers. What, how it is used? For example, if I am going on a road, say I was traveling in a road in my car, as I see a huge block. Now, I cannot just come down and remove this by using my hand. I cannot push it out. So what do we do? Right. What do we do? We take a long lever, put a small stone over it and then I apply my effort. When I do this, this load can move. Right? So what did I do? Initially, I wasn't able to push it out. Now, I am able to do this. This is what is called as a liver. Now, when you look into this, if I enlarge this diagram. Now, this is the called as effort because I am putting my force over here. To do what? To remove this big stone. So, this is called as the load. And I am doing this by keeping this as my pivotal point. So this is called as fulcrum. In short, let's write this as E F L. Now, depending upon the position of E, F, and L, we have different classes of liver. Class 1, class 2. And class 3. How are they? Class 1 is when the fulcrum is in center, effort on this side and load on the other side. So, in, can I write it as fulcrum here, effort here, load here, class 2 here. Now, what happens? The fulcrum becomes here, the load is here, and the effort is here. That means the load is in between the effort and fulcrum. What is class 3 levels? Now, fulcrum is in the center, uh, sorry, in the corner, effort is in the center, and load on the corner. Other side. Right? This is what are the different class of levers. Class 1, fulcrum in center, load and effort on either side. Class 2, load in the center, fulcrum and effort on either side. Class 3, effort in the center, fulcrum and load on either side. Now, the distance between effort and fulcrum is called as effort R and 
and the distance between fulcrum and load will be similarly called as load arm. Right? As per the principle of moments, as per the principle of moments, load into load arm equals to effort into effort arm. What does the principle of moment says? Load into load arm 